Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of fabricating box columns used in industrial structures and pipe racks. We'll see how the plates are cut, assembled, tack welded, fitted, and welded to form a perfectly aligned box column with internal diaphragms and stiffeners for extra strength. So watch till the end to learn the complete fabrication process of box columns in the workshop. Length of the column is 8 meters, width is 800, and the height is 1200 millimeters. Let us know the parts. Base plate, flanges, webs, baffle plates, stiffeners and the top plates. After cutting the plates, first thing to do is, correct the straightness. The possibility of distortion on plates after gas cutting is very high. Another thing to remember is, after welding, possibilities for a longitudinal shrinkage is very high. Add extra lengths, 20 to 30 millimeters, on flange and web plates. You need to cut this extra length before installing the top plate. Prepare all items as per the drawing. Let us know how to check the straightness of the flange and web plates. Put a flange plate on a level platform or proper supports. Mark centers on every 1.5 meters, as shown, including both ends of the plate. Hold a line string tightly, on both ends of the plate, as shown. Now carefully check if the line string passes through the intermittent marking. Maximum 1.5 mm deviation is acceptable, otherwise, we need to straight the plate, using an acceptable method. Draw the center line, on the bottom plate. Draw the inside width of the box on the plate. Draw these lines on the top flange plate also. Prepare all the remaining plates, as shown. After cutting, clean the plates, drill the holes. Greater care shall be taken when you make the baffle plates. Maintain the width 1 mm less than the actual size. Maintain the diagonal below 1 mm plus or minus. Mark the location of the baffle plates. Tack weld the baffle plates on its location. Provide proper supports to keep the baffle plates vertically. Tack weld the web plates. After providing proper supports, complete the inside welding. Clean the inside part thoroughly. Complete the inside painting, if any. Install the cover plate. After completing all the welding, check the squareness of the bottom end of the column. If required, correct the squareness. Tack weld the bottom plate and the stiffener plates and complete the welding. After completing the bottom and stiffener plate welding, measure the length of the column without installing the top plate. Correct the length of the column by trimming or filling method. Now install the top plate and complete the welding. Thank you for watching. 
Please subscribe, like and comment. Please suggest a topic.